Hi guys, it's Monday afternoon at 2.30 and we are having a rainy day but I love it because we fertilized all our plants the other day and this is getting the rain and that'll germinate the seed in the grass and uh, oh I got on my little bird shirt with the little birds on it I don't know if you can see them and this sweater that I got at Target love it it is so comfortable I think it is cotton and I love the color I hope you're all having a great Monday my allergies have been kicking up so bad that ooh. Olivia's having her baby. There's the father. Um, I've been sneezing my head off, watery eyes, my ears are plugged. Anything that could happen with my allergies is going on right now. I've been using my inhaler for my asthma, like, I swear, like four times a day when usually I just use it in the morning at night. I was going to go out today. We were going to go food shopping because we didn't pick up you know, really food the other day at Sam's Club. I just go over to Walmart and I have a big list of things that I need. I was watching um, Lori LL, oh I forget her channel name, I'll put it below. I was watching her and every time I watch her I end up finding things that I want. I need to get. So I was going to pick up some of that stuff when I go to Walmart too. Oh you know what, I'm going to do a what's in my purse. You guys want to see what's in my purse? Same purse, just different junk. Just let me, I'll just show you what I got. Um, I have my long champ bag, and this is like in an eggplant color, and it zips across the top, and it's got the little leather thing here, and the handles, and I love it. And my friend Anna Rosa from Shanghai gave this to me, and I cherish it. Oh, I just brought this upstairs because I wanted to show you. Guys, I am loving this. It's the Olay Regenerous Luminous and it comes in this really neat jar and I, I just love like the color. It reminds me of um, Clinique, the color, not the stuff. It's a gel moisturizer and it's an overnight mask, but I use it in the morning and I use it at night. Um, in the morning I put it on under my makeup and I love this stuff. In the summertime I really don't need a strong moisturizer because I don't like having a lot of like heavy greasy moisturizer on my skin. So this stuff here, let me just show you. I am loving this, guys. Go out to Walmart and get some of this if you want moisture on your skin. I think it has a little hyaluronic acid in it. I'm not sure, hold on. It doesn't say on here, but see? It's it's like almost like a gel. Um, it goes into your skin and just dries completely. There's no greasy stuff on your skin. But my skin hasn't been breaking out at all since I started using this. You know how usually sometimes you get little clogged pores and it's from the moisturizer and it gets in your pores and then the makeup goes on top of it and it forms like little plugs and you end up having to squeeze them out. But this stuff I love and I would strongly recommend that anybody that has like normal skin but doesn't like moisturizer in the summer but wants to keep the moisture in their skin and plump, try this. You will love it. I love it anyways. So this is my little purse organizer that my friend Rebecca gave this to me. And let me just show you what I keep in here. And here's my wallet and with my credit cards. And this is my fake Louis Vuitton, but it looks so much like the real thing. And I've had it now probably for about a year or so. And it looks as brand new as the day that I got it. And I got it on fabulous triple a dot com and it's in china since then the website has gone down i don't know what happened i don't know if they opened up in a new one or not but it is identical to the real thing and the inside everything and it's i love it and it says louis vuitton on the clasp love this thing okay next i have um, kleenex tissues because a girl just never knows which you might stop balling. And then I have my little planner, and I haven't used it since... I haven't used it since January, is where my marker is. I really shouldn't even carry this. Cigarettes. And um, list. This is my list. And my Sam's receipt. Two hanging baskets. 3119. They were 1478 a piece. It's called Paradise Spa 
antibacterial hand sanitizer. Anyways, it came in this cute little rubber thing. And I got this in Walmart. I think it was in the dollar bins where you get like the little travel size stuff. So, I mean, I could hook this on to anything. <laughs> I have a Tide to Go pen. I've been walking around with this since I got it. I haven't used it yet, but you never know. Uh, fresh lavender antibacterial for your hands. You know, I carry this stuff. Every time we go into a restaurant, if we go shopping first, you know, you're touching those dirty carts and everything, and you just. You never know where people's hands have been. So I just like to use this, you know, after I go shopping and I put this all over my hands or before we go into a restaurant, you know, while we're sitting there at the table waiting for our food, I always make my husband use this too. Another pen and another pen and some Advil. And I think I got this at Sam's Club. You know when you swipe your card and you get a free thing? They have little kiosks like throughout the store. So I get this free. Oh, I got a little pick. I remember when these first came out. I remember we used to call them Afro picks. And now everybody uses them to lift their hair or whatever. Remember they used to call them that? I just had to make sure that was still going. Because I, I didn't want to sit here and talk to myself. Another thing I have, I might walk around with this in my purse. My Too Faced palette. And this was given to me by Janet Lydens. And this has been my favorite, my chocolate bar, since I got it. I love this. And you can tell the colors I use, because you can see all the indents in them. Oh my god, this is going to... Okay, I got... I'm just going to speed through the boring stuff. I've got aspirin. i got a brush. I've got my keys. And my friend Susan from Scotland. I love this. And I got Elnet hairspray. And I think this is the unscented. I'm not sure. Um... And then I got another pair of glasses. Let's put those in. And I got a lot of these little candies down the bottom of my purse and more receipts. Okay. Um, let me just do a quick what's in my makeup bag. This is the mascara I've been wearing. It's the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. And my little pink tweezer, tweezer man. And then my physician's formula. This is what I use for a face powder. Love this stuff. Then I have this Boutique Lip Liner in Natural. Love this color. That's what I have on. I don't know if you can even tell. And I'm wearing the Stila Half Moon as a eyeliner on my upper lashes. I'm carrying my like my whole mother load of everything I wear daily. This is the Revlon Color Stay, and it's in the color Buff number 150. I've been wearing foundation lately, and I never could before because I have such weird skin. I'd either get a rash, I'd break out, or start getting little bumps under my skin. All of a sudden, now that I'm 60, I can wear it again. This is what I wear and I love this color and I'll probably wear it year-round. I have this on today too so if I look extra glowy um, that's what I have on my cheeks and it has a little glow in it and it's the Milani blush and this is in color Dulce Pink. Love it. And I also have on the Hula Bronzer in the hollows of my cheek and I actually hit pan guys. I love this stuff. You know, I've, I've almost had this now for a year, and I'm just hitting pan now. And, of course, my Age Rewind Concealer with Goji Berry. I've got two MAC lipsticks. One of them is Pretty Please. It's kind of like a white frost or a light pink frost. These are the Lip Lava. I've got two of the same color, and they're by CoverGirl. There's no way I'm going to be able to tell you what color this is, but this is what it is. And I have it on Over Snob, and it's number A81. And this is what it is. I usually wear this every day, and I put the pretty please just like on the bottom lip. And then I have these lip lavas that I don't know what color they are, but it's kind of like a frosty hot pink. I usually wear this on, on my waterline below. Scandalized by Rimmel, and it is in the do, 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 a nude. And then this Real Techniques brush uh, by Lancome Le Crayon Powder. Oh, I got a couple of brushes here. This is a crease brush. Love it. And, uh, you know, for a tight crease, cut crease, whatever they call it. Natalie, the beauty diva, told me about these. And they're by Emily. And number 219, this is. I got, like, four brushes in the mail for, like, $10, $12 for all four of them. Love them. This is a uh, It Cosmetics brush. Oh, this is another one of those uh, Emily brushes. This is the fluffier one. And then I have my East End Snob by Rimmel. And I have a backup. I got backups downstairs. 
You never know, they might stop making it someday. I love this. This is the Prestige Lip Liner. And I think I get this at uh, Sally's. And this is in the color Silk. And it is the prettiest lip liner. I don't know if you can see it. Um, just a real pretty soft, powdery, nudie pink. But it's just enough to show up. And it's like your lips, but better if you color in all your lips with them. And then put like a little gloss over it. Um, and then this is my new Gold Edition Revlon Eyelash Curler. Oh, I get another tweezer, man. This is the splinter one that you pull a splinter out of. Um, those wooden toilet seats, you know? This is um, my chapstick, and this is the Hydration Lock. This is the eight-hour one. Put this on every night. Keep this with me all the time. Put it on first thing in the morning. Keeps my lips moisturized. And, oh, and I have a little pair of scissors just because you never know. Like, you'll be riding along in the car, and all of a sudden you'll, you know, you have this like big long hair coming down and it's sticking in your eye or going in the crease of your eye every time you blink. So you might want to just... Yeah, that's it guys. And I'm sorry this is so long. God, I didn't realize I was so windy. <laughs> long winded. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Monday and have a wonderful week. And thank you to all my new subscribers that I get over the weekend. I just want to say thank you. I'm glad you're here. So have a great week, everybody. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.